Hi, welcome to a video tutorial on how to use Skype. We will teach you all the basics on becoming a Skype expert. Skype's a fantastic tool that can be used both education-wise and business-wise. Education-wise, it allows students to work on a class assignment using voice and or video calling as if they were speaking on the phone. Business-wise, it allows coworkers and colleagues in different places, locations, and countries to work and communicate onto a, onto a common project. In this video, we will show you how to download Skype, how to make an account, and how to get around in the Skype world. We will show you all the basics so that you can become a Skype expert. You should be able to see our screen opened up to the Skype website. On the top, there are tabs such as Learn, Prices, Downloads, Support, and even further to the right, Sign In and Join Us. We're going to click Join Us. You will be taken to a page that requires you to create an account. Fill in all your personal information accordingly, such as your first name, your last name, and your email address. Fill in all your information and when you're finished, click I agree continue and go back to the Skype home page. This time out of the tabs, we're going to click download so that you can download and install Skype onto your computer. Scroll down and click the big green button reading get Skype for Windows desktop. A little window should pop up and you should save the file and continue. and allow Skype to set up. Click yes and I agree next. Anything to progress Skype's installation. This is what your screen should look like as Skype installs. Sign in to the Skype account you created earlier in this tutorial. If it allows you to sign in, then congratulations, you have successfully created a Skype account. To add your friends or colleagues, click the Add Contact button in the bottom left corner. Search for who you're looking for using their email, Skype username, full name, or phone number. Once this person has added you, then they should show up under your contact. Now, you will be able to see if your contacts are online, away, busy, or offline, depending on the color beside their name. Green means online, yellow away, and red do not disturb. That way you can always see where your contacts are. When making a call, first you must ensure the receiver is online. When you click their name, you are taken to their profile. You can either click the green button saying call or video call. If your call is working, this is what you should see. When the receiver picks up, you can have your conversation. To add another participant, before calling, click the plus button beside call and video call. While in a call, click the plus icon and select add participants. Then select the according person. You can also click this icon for more features, such as screen sharing. Click the plus icon and select share screen. Once you click start sharing, the person you are talking to can see your screen, which is very handy for business meetings and school projects. Your screen should have many boxes, so you can see what you're sharing. When you're done using the feature, 
Click stop sharing and your call will return to how it was. In this video, we guided you through creating a Skype account and downloading Skype, adding contacts, making calls, and Skype's features, whether for business or for education. Don't forget, you can also use the Skype application on your mobile devices. We hope this tutorial was a tool you utilized and was helpful. Have fun using the Web 2.0 software Skype on your computer.